In this example, we are going to add variable content to uh, one of a series of versions of a parking pass. So we're going to use a variable data document workflow. And we're going to go choose our master. So here, if you look at my file, you can see that um, there's a series of different master options and data source options. Um, the concept of this parking pass is that there's, you know, three different levels of sponsorship or parking sort of prestige for a specific film festival and um, the three different lots, lot A, B, and C, the parking passes are a different color. Um, so the background color you can see over here it's a maroon on the other colors on the other parking passes it's different so for this example we're just going to choose one of them to work with um, but know that you have lots of flexibility with your master and variable uh, data sources to how you combine everything together this one we're going to use master a and then we're going to choose our data source. So again, we want to make sure we choose uh, the parking permit data A so that everything goes together. Uh, here we're only using text fields, so everything looks correct. So you can see I've already got the A on here, so we just need to populate our variable fields. So we're going to add our first and last name. I'm going to choose the color. I'm going to use my white uh, preset here. Um, and this is, this, we're also going to stack our variable fields within the same text frame here so that the alignment works out. I'm going to center within, there we go. And I'm going to choose the font size to Arial Black. And I'm going to make this one 14. And then we're going to bring. Oops, we're actually going to use permit. We're going to use lot here. We don't want this to be aerial black. We just want it to be aerial. It's regular. I'm just going to scoot this up a little bit. And then finally, we will put the parking permit number down here on the bottom. going to align all three of these so that they're center aligned and that's all the variable fields we need to add so we can preview them so here you see the first and last has been combined into one field here uh, we'll look at these so we can uh, look at the longest and shortest you can visually see it here because I have a pretty short list or you can tell the app to uh, filter on the longest and shortest so that you can make sure everything looks right. There we go. Everything here looks good. Um, the rest of the records uh, are fine. So this is ready to save and send to a Fiery server for production.